and they, they outdid rule one in the play of the Mayax, and that swings for a double down. Oh. It is magic here for Elevate. That is going to be a big, big problem. They've got a different problem, though, and it's Fatty. Now bumping complexity Three. back to their corner, and he gives all the space in the world to the hero of Zen to step up. I'll tell you what, Exotic got that way closer than I think he maybe should have done, but oh my goodness, Drali! Yeah, watching him, Snowy had like eight boosts left. Good news oh. for him, he's about to have 33, and they're about to reset on kickoff. Pan, Gen G hit them on the transition. Chronic back for a double downwards, and in, what a shot! Mir is traveling, not only trying to bump him off the ball, but can you stop him? You can't! Or maybe just that man right there, comp again, off the ceiling, reset, uses the flip. Staying up in the play on zero. Tell Complexity doesn't want to commit too much. The ball! Raise ball. The ball. Ladies and gentlemen, the major in Copenhagen is about to begin. 16 teams have joined us in Copenhagen, all vying for that one spot on Championship Sunday. You can see the players all starting to get ready, and the show is going to begin in just a few moments. This works here, it's pretty simple. You win games, you play against other teams that have won games. If you lose, you'll play against other teams that have lost. You gotta win three matches before you lose three. If you lose three before you win three, you are out, your tournament is over. If you win three before you lose three, you'll be in those top boxes, the green boxes at the top. Eight teams will qualify out of this Swiss and into our playoff bracket that will be played Sunday, Saturday and Sunday in front of the crowd here in Copenhagen. Such a huge title for whatever team is able to do it, but with it being the first major, the points are so important here. 32 points going to that first place spot could be enough for some of these teams to basically clinch worlds. Chat wow. has got rule one on this one. Fan okay. favorite. So we all as the professionals up here predicted General Mace, but the chat's got rule one. I was going to ask him what rule one needs to do to win, but we don't have time. They're ready for us to play the game, folks. I know you guys have been waiting for the start of this game. I've been waiting too. It's finally time for us to play in person, folks. The Rocket League Championship Series Copenhagen Major kicks it off with Gentlemen versus Rule One. From the off to make that statement, and as for Rule One, that's what they need to do, being second all season, but that is not what they want. And this start from Nalpo could change that at the start. Here he goes, what an entrance. Well, there we go, early start from that man, Nalpo, the best player, the MVP for Rule One in the first split online and that they'd want, albeit they did get the major spot, they locked that in. But it, the story in that region was all about Falcons. They could not get really near them, couldn't get close to them, albeit that first event. And now they've got to worry because Seiko, the world champ of his own right, gentle mates. At a major of all places, you have to expect it, but the demos are coming through. It's a phenomenal save there, just but more follow-up shots. Oh, this is the rule one special from last season, but they don't. Hang on, Itachi gets the second, and Gentle Mates, they grab the lead. Gentle Mates, their offense certainly looking locked in right now. Seiko, that's great. You can see our mate circling for a demo. Rule one trying to force something to happen, but it's just going to be wide open for Seiko. That's four on the board for the mates. There's a lot on the line as Itachi will have to What a touch, Is he just found the angle? You're kidding. Oh. No respect for rule one at all. They said he won't have this. And third man creeping up. It's almost a, well, it's not, it's obviously not a psycho, but he got it set up for him. Anyone a chance, and that's what a lot of the teams talking about. I know the Power Boys in particular are just speaking about their boot camp, their screams, oh, that's almost it. Forward a little bit and underestimating the Gentleman's attack right now. Yeah, it's not quite in the right spot for that, but you do expect it. Round one of the Swiss, it's a long game, and it's actually, oh, what a double. I didn't think he would get the shot, couldn't get around it. And made it here relatively safely in the end. The gap from fourth to fifth was a fair few points. Rule one have to counter Ooh. that. I almost can. Armad's coming in. Armad scores. What a game so far. Forbidden Temple, that's where the matchups are. Yeah, it's he's certainly providing right now. Now, but look at that. He almost scored, but he's beaten two. And how many times do we see that in Mina? Interrupt and intercept the gentleman's defense. Now, but tries to go over the top of Tachi. Almost does. Seiko then diving in once more. The demo opens it all up. Somehow that ball stays out. And again, it's pushed to the post. That is at least. 100%, but they're really just waiting for gentlemates to overcommit. But you just see how they're dominating this midfield. Is this the best chance? It's a phenomenal pass. Oh. You'll be a goal, but Seiko just floating across with the pre-jump. it back into the center, looking like this game is going to finish very much as it starts with gentlemates having all the pressure until Ahmad gets it to Nalpo. It's the finish better this time. It's so much better. The counter attack is complete. Watching that one down, and there's the Huge. clear again, Nalpo. What a touch. 
sent to the other side for it, but it was so worth it. But here comes Seiko. He fakes it again. Itachi shoots. Two of them, the Nippo safe. Seiko onto the back, but Juicy, he's too far forward. Of the season. There's Khaled, who's setting up his own double touch into his own net. Now, but very awkward. There's there the great is. shot, and you just see it facing backwards near post. But now, Poe will be able to come away with the ball all by himself. We know he's got that flip reset button. He goes to the backboard. He shoots it. What a save that is from Seiko. Can Arma turn it in? Not quite. Khaled, surely? Yes, he bundles it home. So much work had to be done. But there's the equaliser. Oh, now, Poe did so much work, and Juicy oh. just re-jumping top ends for the shot. It was far down. Subtle slight ball touches, and there's oh, another one as well. A huge pitch from Juicy. Is anyone coming in to turn this one into an assist? No, it's saved by Khaled. Yeah. Sort of scenario and a live offline setting, but well, rule one looking phenomenal. But again, Nothing. there it is a quick counter attack. It is Juicy, that middle man. He's looking for that link up play, and he has just caught out the defense there, outpacing, faking underneath the pre jump from Naupo. And the side it goes. Now in comes Juicy against Khaled. Can he win this one clearly? Yes, he can. Armad is there. Nalpo was diving in as win well. Roll. It works out in the end yester uh, yesterday, in the last game. <laughs> it's not been that oh, long. Oh, wow, what a redirect that is. Armad gets it to the side. Oh, by Juicy, so many demos. The demos are so important right now. It's a oh. huge touch for Nalpo. Oh. He gets one, two, three. Oh, oh I'm shot oh. saved. They have, been, they have been able to work it out here. Tachi, no boost, just throws it forward. A little double commit coming through from rule one. Starting to see the pressure, the fatigue setting in. Four minutes of overtime. There's the shot. Juicy fires. Gentlemen, <laughs> take down rule one in the first round of the Swiss. And if they're just going to be giving up possession straight from the off, that is going to be a big, big problem. They've got a different problem, though, and it's Fatty. I mean, there's three problems <laughs> there. <on that> yeah. Field. <laughs> No matter which way you look at it, Matira going for a routine double, making it look like he's in free play. Well, this is the horrible thing, and this is one of the reasons why we do bring up how this is a great opportunity for Limitless to start learning, because they are used to being the fastest. The most options as an attacker to put the defense off balance oh, like and the try to catch attempts. them off guard. There was a few demo attempts there at the background. Hasn't worked, but I like the idea. And now, Snowy. Looking for Sweaty. Sweaty back to Snowy, and that was the right idea. The pass was a little bit too far ahead, though. Yeah, unfortunately for him, Snowy had like eight boosts left. Good news oh. for him, he's about to have 33. They're about to reset on kickoff. And I mean, is that good news? <laughs> you see Fatira flip, reset, double tap, makes it look so easy. Because I, 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 I wouldn't be surprised. Doesn't like a rise thing to do. I, 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 oh! And there's another one oh, from I Brazil! <laughs> from Limitless, there were two players that were demoed, so they had to come off spawn to get that stop, but that's not the best touch from Tadai for. You can see they give up possession, backboard, vulnerable, and Atto makes some pay. It was guaranteed after the touch. Snowy just wanted to control the ball, ended up handing it over. Even Sathew comments about Luminosity, Cole. He says they're just such a difficult team to play. They counter strat. They do more research than anyone else. Let's see what they've got on Furia here as Yang gets a drop down to Lost. Anything, true chaos that he brings. My goodness, it's good to watch though. Yeah, he's been a statistical Whoa! leader. And there's the little reset Hello. into the musty for Drafidio. We are 90 seconds, Cole, into their first game here in Copenhagen. And they look like they've been here for months. What on earth are we witnessing here in Copenhagen? So to a luminosity as it stands right now, but they have managed to at least work their way into orange territory once or twice. When the ball comes back, they're struggling to deal with it. Here comes another one, a huge dunk! It's three! Rettles, who is currently on the chase to be the first pro with 2,000 career demos. It's him against First Killer. I'm reliably informed, but let's oh, get some going it. because Furia are playing with them right now. I mean, just the level, the quality of this game, number one from Furia. It's the pass plays, the oh. one, two, three, back to Yen, bar down. They have to get things going. Here's Cheese. Can he do that? Almost over Drafinho. A goal could be massive for them just to give them something. Magic Bear gets the flip reset. He gets it down. And Cheese follows up. Luminosity gets something. I've seen that man do it in streams. It's the bear stepping up. Reset, setting up Cheese. And maybe some momentum. There's still time left on the clock. Completely pulling the rug away from them yet again. Cheese up against Yan. Does well defensively for now, but can you get this redirect? He can, it's over. Here comes Lost. It could be four. It is four. 
this is becoming humiliating. I mean, have a look at the pass play. So, yeah, he's not rotating out, sitting downfield, uses the backboard, doesn't go the shot, setting up lost, buying any of these fakes coming through. He's just so quick to recognise the positioning, and that just shows how comfortable they are. Oh, what a shot. Hang oh, on a minute. Oh, no. The reach up, the bear, the shot on net. Oh. And the wheels with Reynolds. Because they were, what, three goals behind of a minute and 30 left. So now they're four goals behind. You, you can forgive them for overcommitting in that regard, but... They have to avoid collapsing. And we know that Luminosity can change it up. We've seen the demos. I mean, look at Reynolds. He's dead set playing a, a different game right now. But there's the opening. That's what can happen if you commit too hard down one end. The touch from Lost. The demos come through. He was so the last deep. man. And look at the breach. I've lost throwing a four. Doesn't quite get the shot. But we are seeing a little bit of a change up. Luminosity going for the bump set. Well finding done. the open net for the first time. This series, Luminosity had the lead. Things you love to see, and the reason they got it is because Furia actually let them get away with something. There was a chance for Lost. He couldn't quite redirect that pre-jump. Again, look at the way Furia just refused to rotate out, circling like vultures, just keeping that ball in, trying to stalk their no prey. No way! An unfortunate 50. Yan dribbles that one through. The bumps did come in. Trevino, his teammate, now leaves it for him. He shoots it to the top corner. This could kill it. She saves. It's high. Yan has another chance. Gets the flip reset. Lost is just waiting like a viper to strike. Trafinio coming in now. Furious smell blood. Oh, they sense it. it. Here comes Lost, oh. but it's a massive save from Luminosity. All right now, both sides just looking to get it. One game at a time, one goal at a time. What can Yan do? He's going sideball. Does he get the redirect? He gets oh. the double! I mean, the setup is simply ridiculous. Fury, a two-goal lead. Bidia seem to be getting this under lock and key, though. They've had a lot of the ball for the last minute and a bit. They have. And now that's the first goal. Trolley in position. A little bit of a, a desperation dive forwards. Good kickoff as well. Drali going on up. Looks for the reset. Can he keep it going? Oh, oh it's off the post, but that will be finished off by Exotic. But you, no, you're right. It's about not necessarily doing something because it's flashy. You're, you're just trying to do the job that needs to be done as simply and cleanly as possible. Uh, if I think there's any player that's going to appreciate it, it is the player that just scored. And even though those touches have been a little bit heavy for Elevate, they've still had opportunities. And there's a big save, but it was two defenders that had to go and make the stop. Now it's into the hands of LCT. Really nice control here from LCT. And oh, there's good. the bump! Absolutely phenomenal stuff there from Elevate. This time, they did not panic. LCT realized he had the space. Let's send everybody! The online era, where it was like, they are going for this. They are really wanting the uh, the pinch goals. Is that's just going to move on off the backboard. And Monkey Moon does make it 3-1. The fun police have arrived from the player that was previously playing it. BDS know how to find each other. Didn't require as so much this time around. Drali right down the middle, waiting for the pass from Exotic. Very much in control for this opening minute. Hey, hey. Okay. And there's Sphinx's first goal on That's land. not how he imagined it. That's not how the dream was. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. So, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah. Wait, That's what? how that went down. <laughs> I... I don't think I've ever seen a worse own goal than that. That's history. That is... Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. This is open, and LCT takes advantage of that. The play slowed down. But Elevate have their first lead of the series. You don't want to give those solo play opportunities. You don't want to give shots to BDS. There's another shot off the post. Rebound will be scored. So Team BDS at least stabilized the ship here with that goal. Doesn't make contact on that. Does go for a back pass. The ball bouncing oh, all around. That is open. If that missed. shot is on target, redirect from Exotic doesn't go in, and Elevate still have life. I'll tell you what, Exotic got that way closer than I think he maybe should have done, but oh my goodness, Drali with a brilliant goal to finish us off. He hits it straight to him, and Kaleers tries to play that off the back wall, but Kahn's there to carry that straight into the midfield. Good challenge here. OG been able to hold on defensively, and Drali is going to get the first goal. Play a good back defense, and that's maybe what's different between these two defenses. Look at Rowatz with this control going below Kahn with the follow-up from Kaleers is there, and it keeps Falcons within one, something they haven't really experienced yet. But Team Falcons are warmed up, double tap, triple, Ooh. and Kaleers evens it up. 
Back to back here out of Kalir's. This one right off the kickoff. Look at this. He recognizes he has space and control and just plays that all by himself. Defense from OG starting to struggle, especially after they had such a good start limit in the midfield. You see Noli taking this one to the corner. Comms there. Tries to play it off the ceiling, but the ball gets away from him. That's what a shot. It was on target, and TRK had well, to make a save. This is a deadly place to drop it for Jane Apps as TRK disengages. Roa steps up. Kalir is for his jumping right behind him. Goes with a shot. Hit that flip. Noli wasn't there. And look at this, as soon as Ross had that touch, that first touch, Killiers came up to get the shot, Noli was on its way back, and they're applying a lot of strong pressure on their own. They're attacking at the right time when OG seems weak is on defense. Killiers traveling, Noli trying to bump him off the ball, but can you stop him? You can't! 3-0 for Falcons! Disgusting! This one is all Killiers. Beautiful touch as he tries to keep this one up. Gets the flip reset and pass the entire OG team as he takes it from one side of the field to the other. 3-0 Falcons. Considering from game one where they had about, about 10 shots, they've only gotten three this game. And another counterattack play and another goal for Falcons as they keep things moving forward. The OG fan club here as Falcons right now. Oh, Rawas! Almost a great goal here off the jump. Fire up those engines again, at least metaphorically. Falcons, though, their defense, it just creeps by them. OG with a second one. No boost in the tank, really, for him or OG, but he was able to get that ball, get a little piece of it, buy some time. Already, though, Falcons, <laughs> the pressure pays off. No one able to stop Kalirs from scoring the first one. Yeah, Falcons saw that OG were shaken and made sure they were stirred at the end. Everyone jumping up for this ball. Nolly again with the second touch. Not allowed to do that. Kalir's challenges. And TRK, the ball gets past him, and Roas forced to make a save. Now that you've demoed someone from OG, Falcons, the counterattack. Oh, no. Something you have to worry about. 2-1-1. One, one. Makes the save with the backflip. Nolly chasing after TRK on his tail. Managing to maintain possession for Falcons, but OG tipping towards Roas, who's that solid pillar in the back and always going for saves, buying time for Falcons defense to rotate back in position. Go what? Off. The save what? No. TRK is crazy. 14 Falcons. OG will have to force an issue here with 30 seconds left. I don't know oh. if they can do it. And Kalir's bang! Rule one may have fell, but Falcons stood up in the end to soar high in their first match, and Roas will add to the count. Lost that one just for a quick second here, but it's right back to him. Down, pass, over. Here comes the shot. Oh. It's crossbar. G2 oh, strike. You know you're going to go oh, up against, but what? Viper! <laughs> the transition attack came through. Pioneers have tied up the game. This could be fun here. Oh, oh here comes Beast Mode. They just got right back to it. They do still look quite comfortable in the match. You know, they, they definitely look comfortable. So does Pioneers. Whoa. Double on the <laughs> back foot. Pass. Shot's going to go towards that corner there. Great save come out from beast mode on that one. Keep G2 in the lead. Two resets <laughs> towards the bar. Atomic with the follow and G2 go up by two. Yeah, the recoveries are just so fast that they can kind of get away with that. I mean, it's, it's one of those situations where you don't want to copy the pros. They're just too <laughs> too quick as they get another goal for Daniel and then Atomic. But how about that for, for Amphis as he now has a brief 1v1 opportunity. In fact, it's 2v1, <laughs> but Daniel darts back, turns it into an even situation. And again, G2 on that transition and kind of using Pioneer's own game against them here. They are just too fast in the final third. It's 3 0 to G2. The Pioneer is just not quick enough to make a proper challenge on G2. Instead, it's a double oh. off the side, just out. But the follow up, oh. that fourth man really is doing wonders for Pioneers. Looking better than they did in game number two. Not quite as strong as they did in the first oh. game though, throughout that series. But what a demo opens things oh up my. here and beast mode to give G2 stride their first goal on the board. We'll see if there's any adjustments that are made. And all of Vitality being involved in the play boats. Well, there's just not one person to shut down, but the underdog, you got to worry about what the desk talked about was Dorito. Talk about adjustments, give Dorito the ball. That's a great start. A lot of eyes on him, and he's putting on a show. And Ray's Bull will pick it up, play it off to the sidewall. All complexity you have to do is keep this ball close, not make too many air touches, but they watch out! Because Zen gets it to Alpha, and Alpha puts it in the back of your net. What a pass! As Renosin wanted to break it up, but Dorito also with the clear. Alpha is just on it, the captain of the team, keeping them composed. They are a team to fear as Alpha runs into Ray's Bull. Dorito picks it up. The counterattack ensues, but it's so far. 
Well, at least complexity in the midfield. Keep the truck running as Dorito reads it and gets complexity up by two. Big goal here for Dorito. Rays Bull meets this one at the midfield. Tests the back wall. No one from Vitality makes contact. Dorito calls the bluff and puts the shot in. Alpha sends it back in all of complexity, running for the hills to catch up to Vitality as they cross up in the ceiling. And Ralph oh my Reese God! And the double tap send! And Vitality trying to look for each other. You see Rodosa look for that pass to Alpha Zen, trying to put a testing shot, and it gets through! Resulted in a goal. It should be 2-1 here on the side of Vitality. But again, even him trying to lead block for Zen. Shot gets it's past the race bull! Vitality on the stretch are just so hard to beat. <laughs> if you're in his way, he will move you by force and gets the bounce, reads it perfectly. Zen is just that guy, and Incredible. he has been. It has been well noticed, but so is also Alpha and Rado here. Vitality is Rado. Got the flip, played it low, and it goes in. 3-1. But well, Vitality you knows Dorito's now an offensive threat. They're keeping their eyes peeled for everyone on this field as Alpha air dribble across. Now bumping complexity Three. back to their corner. And he gives all the space in the world to the hero of Zen to step up. Goes forward, bumps it to bump. Dorito. And Redosa does a shot. Sounds up, Alpha. And it all works out in the end. Redosa, though, sends it downfield. Zen is there. Raze Bull can't make contact, though. It'll go to Redosa. <laughs> Zen into the block and the shot. Ten seconds left in the series on the line. Vitaly of a one goal lead. CR with the reset. Zen reads it like a book. And Raze Bull couldn't find the rebound in time. To the orange half, and Ray's Bull is in the air. Ciara's ready in the corner, bounces it out to Dor Dorito, takes the shot at the goal line, and it doesn't make it. Vitality take the series. You know, it could clearly be a game plan coming into this. They're trying to lose. Going to put 50 oh. to the purpose. They're not losing them here, though, as Jack makes it 1 0. Low pass middle from first killer. And a very easy finish for apparently Jack. That's a huge dunk off the top of Banana Head's car. Supposed to be there. And that's what Power are doing as well. It's actually, they're going to take the lead here. What a shot <laughs> by Banana Head to completely catch NG sleeping. I love this. Oh, what a pre flip. That's <laughs> outrageous by Banana Head. Chronic had no idea that shot was coming on target. Well, I mean, what a start for Banana Head <laughs> in his first ever land match for Power. That's. An incredible opening. He's going for a fourth here. Banana Head makes it 4 1. I mean, they're bringing everything to the table here. They are locked in. Can Gen G hit them on the transition? Chronic backboard, double downwards, and in. What a shot to bring it back to two. Chronic said, Everybody sit down. Let me show you who I am. I can still do what I do. And on low boost, still managed to get that angle on them. Gen G prevails as power are able to keep Gen G at bay. 42 seconds left. Torsos with a clear it. up field. This one's going to go in. Fever's <laughs> going to steal it for himself because why not? Pretty strong on this one. I feel like Genji, they just want to slow things down a little bit, regain that control. Nice flick over one. The save, Surely. but the follow up comes yep. through. That's a first killer follow up I've ever seen one. Genji up 2 0. I, I feel like the safe answer is yes, but you never know. They're going to try and turn it into six. Wow. They will turn it into six. It's chronic on the board once again. Yeah, what a pass this was to go middle to Chronic. Apparently, Jack did a great job. And Power still remain scoreless for what I make now to be almost eight minutes of gameplay. Genji knocking at the door again. It's 50 <laughs> and in by Chronic. I think he just won a 50 50 yep. with the post, which yeah, is he did. incredibly impressive. <laughs> he actually did. It bounced, like, it just gave him the angle too off of it. Genji up by two. And Paru remain again scoreless. This is a frustrating continuation for them. Like we said earlier, you know, a game is a good thing to get against Genji. But now Genji, I made it 4 0. It's 10 unanswered goals for the current North American champions. Fever produced the goods again. Another long range air dribble turns into an air dribble bump pass. A play that's become a whole lot more popular this season. And again, an opportunity, half a chance for power this crossbar to the rescue for Gen G. Maybe Torsos can keep it going low on boost. Most he can do is just take another touch, but Gen G take it back. Yeah, not really too much going on there for Torsos. Now, first kill with the air dribble. Jack's bumping the goalie, and it's in with the double tap. And it hasn't worked. Um, 12 unanswered goals and counting for Gen G Mobile One. Yep, just looking to continue to extend it. Maybe 13 oh here comes in from Chronic. The double off the <laughs> sidewall. I think he might have even tripled this. I yes, think he, he tripled did. it. Oh my goodness. 
That's a ridiculous placement by Chronic, and Power just look like an absolute shadow of their game themselves. Round one is in the books. Round two of the Swiss coming down here, and we will have two teams, we'll have four teams, excuse me, up at 2-0 and oh by the end of the day, ready to punch their tickets tomorrow morning. But you need to make sure that you're also pushing a team that is as good as Rule 1 on their own defense as well. Now, Poe plays it through every single Elevate player that stood in his way and comes out victorious. I mean, he gets the flip reset, forces the defender high, recognizes that he won the space, brings it back down to the ground. Elevate, can they get something in game number one to spur them on through the next two? An infield pass attempt, perhaps, maybe even a shot, but the pass would have been the better option there. There's a little deflection on the goal, oh! and it goes in. The boost can work around again. The offensive player, Naupo, is going to dive in. Guessing from this, a solo or a pass? Uh -huh. He of fakes course. high, goes low. It is Naupo. But that's the threat that Nupo has, and then it's the block Khaled. So that demo at the midfield making that play happen. Huge insurance goal for rule one. 20 seconds left now, and the job is doubled. Nay, it is tripled. Elevate now with some hope. A small glimmer, but rule one has looked so comfortable in control, but the demos are open. Again! Up the game for Elevate. Kevin Central, LCT low boost, takes a bit of a snapshot towards the net. They need to maintain this game to oh the LCT my. to shoot. It's a fourth in a row. Elevate, clear by two. That does not You have that to win. play like maniacs, yes, like you, you just did in game three. And they, they outdid rule one in the play Hold like maniacs. Up. And that's thanks for a double down oh. to Kevin. Oh. It is magic here for Elevate. And this is that magic you expected from Sphinx. A perfect double tap, drop down pass to Kevin, it was on Kevin's nose. They are off kilter now. They lost the last game in a, a pretty stunning fashion. They've given up the first oh, goal, but shot. that stops the bleeding. What a response from Naupo. Sidewall from Armand, back over from Khaled, down from Naupo. And a touch came in from the defender, but it was not nearly enough. Maybe could have played that a little bit safer. Oh, Naupo nearly went from Ceiling down to the floor. Sphinx on the backboard, though. Taps it in from that side. Manufo comes in to calm it down. LCT bumping Sphinx out of the way. That's not what Elevate won. And LCT panicking a little bit on that backside. He's the veteran of this team. Needs to make sure that he is not being an awkward member. Ahmad shoots towards target. Goes wide. Second is good. Rule one in the final 30 in game number four is going to secure a one goal lead. It's been a team match so far. Limitless will not complain. They might complain with the situation they now find themselves in. Oh, it's oh. a self save. Like, yeah, but, what is <laughs> Let's not have the first goal on the no, border. Don't like it. There not it is. There it is. The reset from Carmen. We are just seeing that last man get exposed. The lack of backboard defense came through, and there's the space in the midfield. Backboard crawling with sweaty. Over the top. Limitless off the challenge. First one oh. up. It's the chance. Sweaty makes it two each. Puts it a little bit too high. And to die for, make sure of it. Yeah, both sides lacking the finishing touch right now. Nolly, there's a drop down. It's just going to be it. There it is. Jane Apps gets the first on the board. It was th over three minutes. All right, OG just a step too much. We're about to find out. Limitless have really been improving game after game, but have a look at that. Seven seconds in, and it's this man, Com, gets the touch, stays on the backboard, gets the bump and the shot at the same time. He's taken everything there. Com, I'm not sure if he was... Oh, was my goodness! Oh, okay. okay, it might just be party time for OG. Or maybe just that man right there, Com, again, off the ceiling, reset, uses the flip. That is the ultimate stream right there. Oh, and they've gone Not for the again. fake kickoff. Not again. There goes Com. He's got Nolly in his sights. Oh. I was going to go for the bang. Uh, I'm glad I didn't. He's just going to be the ultimate comeback for Limitless. They've got two minutes to get something cracking here. That's a die for. On his way back for now is Com. Oh, my. Oh. Of hat tricks that I've seen. That is one of the best ones. Com is unreal in this game. Wow, look at the angle and finds a top to a bottom corner. Grace period at the beginning. Both teams feeling each other out, poking, prodding, 
Trying to see if there's any weakness in the defense. And there's the first weakness that gets exposed. Ray's bull comes through. Sniping a boost from underneath his feet. Cheese to receive one, but CRR bumps him out of the way, so no progress can be made until Rattles comes in a shot. It did not work earlier versus Fury. He barely had chances to do it. Will Complex to be sitting a bit more pretty for them, and as a shot bounces top corner, Cheese not going to be having a thanks Psyonix post bounce going his way. But Luminosity, the one setting the pace in game two. CRR off that double, the angle is there. It's just a little bit too wide. No chance for any player from Complexity to come in from that pass. Oh. Instead, never mind, it's another miss from Luminosity, and CRR takes full advantage. To slow down any counterattack from Luminosity, the counterattack now goes. Cheese with a 50 to bear. Cheese! Oh, oh, yes. That is a team play from Luminosity. Strap a rocket to a wheel of Brie, and you get this goal from Cheese. The bear finds him. A minute 15 and Luminosity punch Complexity dead in the chest. 50 boost, an opportunity to challenge Cheese, but Cheese will be there first. Central Magic Bear to shoot. Oh, it's halfway in the my. goal. Magic Bear staying up in the play on zero. Until Complexity doesn't want to commit too much. The ball. Raise ball. The ball. It's El Toro. It's 2-0 for Complexity, and it is magic here in Copenhagen! Whoa! Two shots come out from CRR and Dorito. Now Razel in the sky again, looking inspired, finds Dorito! Oh, man. It is two in 20 oh. seconds. Uh, well, that's where we'll see what kind of mentality that Luminosity mm. has. I mean, Rettles, I said it before. Uh -oh. He's an wow. astounding leader, but leadership will only get you so far when you face the quality of Sam's number two seed. Yeah, you get the pass, you get the, the poke by CRR on the bump, and then the shot that he cannot give Magic Bear that space at the midfield. And now we might see another scoring opportunity. There's the, oh, the, the, my the, the little hesitation raise bull. The Hezzy gets the defense jumping, and he just takes it and scores it. Oh, Magic Bear. Oh, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for you, mate. That's good angles now for his team to work with. Off the backboard, I think Scrub would have preferred to take it over himself, because now the rotation is in all sorts of trouble. Managed to keep the first shot out. Now the second one. Left, right. in comes Banana Head. Off the backboard. Now the finale. Fever puts them 1-0. Bobby says yes. They're pretty excited to be playing Pioneers. Off the backboard. Here's Fever, number two. Here we go, Pioneers stepping up a little bit when you're looking for a player on Pioneers. Yeah, more often than not, it is in here first, but that's just going to be open top corner. So that time the cast the curse works. Okay, and I see. Now they get the ball across the face of goal. Good rotation back there from Torsos. Parries the ball away before more danger can come forward. But there it is! Amphis, what a cut of rotation. Stayed relevant. I like it though from Pioneers. Having said that, that's a huge fake for Fever. He just got given so much space. Look at the demo. Look at the pressure coming through. You just see Torsos chasing the demo. He forces Amphis to go up, up the back of his own net. He's got so many bad options. He tries to find a way, and he's done exactly that. I don't think there was anywhere he could hit that ball where there wasn't an orange car. Helping out. Power's defense holding strong. Here we go, Fiber. He's got a reset. What can he do? One over the top. Will that be the catalyst for Pioneers? He ties it up. And that could be the start of something. So much pressure on getting that right. He's had a relatively quiet series. All the Pioneers relatively quiet. Here goes Amphis, pop over the top. Are they going to commit? Are they going to go? Oh dear, it's a huge mistake. Fever has a free double in the cool game. Fake out shot. Banana hit with four seconds left. Devastation for the Pioneers. There's still enough time for some kickoff magic, but power. Banana hit. Clutching up. It's just another example of the vitality world class defense that we've seen for so, so long. But the offense that is legendary to the name of Zen comes through. Vitality tie things up. Almost a very clean win, almost ended up in the net. Now Zen looking for more, his double denied. And now Furia will break out now with 30 seconds left. At least a chance here to get one back. Rafinha on the demo and lost as to his tally. With two minutes left to go, so at what point does somebody get caught off guard? It's going to be a 2-0-2. Lost is the one to find his way into that net. Forbidden Temple have a different storyline. Lost for Rafinha. This looks so 
powerful and confident. Two touches from the corner into a center for Jafinho. Just absolute slot approaching. Furia still leading by two. Vitality hasn't been able to answer to either of those goals there. Maybe an attempt on this one. Attempt. This ball trying to get cleared out into the mid. Lock sends it back. Pass over to Jafinho. Shot goes crossbar in but you're still up by one. And again, we just kind of fall into this holding pattern at midfield. I mean, and I wouldn't expect anything less right now. Honestly, these two squads feel fairly equal, although that is all going to be said and done, Jafinho. And the final 10 seconds will burn away. Vitality, not for lack of trying, not for lack of opportunities, find themselves looking up at match point <laughs> from Furia. Did have Furia. <laughs> And right now, it's looking pretty good. But here goes Zen. Flip reset. Got it to the crossbar. He was bumped. Chaos in front. Near is not good enough. And Vitality, they've been bailed out by the accuracy or lack thereof of Furia, and they've turned it into a 2-1 lead. You got two goals to answer to. You're sitting on match point. It felt like it was in your favor, but Vitality says, no, we want game five. But as time is going on, Furia are starting to look a little bit more menacing than they have, at least in game number four. Oh, There's big shot. shot! There it is, Yan! Just handed to him. An opportunity created by a double commit where we worried that Furia might be the one that started panicking. Furia look like they're playing like it's still a tie game. They are still desperate to add another to their tally. But now here comes Vitality. Bumped by Alpha. Can he turn on this? Yes, he can. Last call for the world champs before they drop to one and one. Sin's got it in the air. Alpha waiting, waiting. Passes there and he sent it too high. Jan brings it almost to ground. Radosi can't keep it. Two and oh. Off the ceiling, too. Beast smells just like that. But Jack making the space, being physical. A oh. little backflip there. G2 turns Whoa. the play on his head, and that's an open net. Beast mode with the challenge. Oh, even gets oh. the second touch of Morris Karnik to make the save. Atomic off the cross. Beast mode whips it to the corner. The offense can't seem to get going on this right side. He got to go up high, but Gen G oh. counterattack and beats the defender, and it's in. On the ball in a row, but the 50 50 seem to be the key to this match at the moment. Both teams Ooh. playing it very safe. That's a good pass, but pounced on by Chronic. Ooh. Wait, whoa! Wait, that just goes in. And you know, one player coming down, one player going up. That's open, surely. And it's <laughs> off the post. Jack wasn't there in time. Well, that should have been 1 0 for Gen G. The center bolt came through, but it was too quick. This is quick. Now it's back to the orange what? side. Atomic there first. And first killer. I think if Genji play a bit closer, these passes are going to become deadlier. Atomic to be oh on the Oh my post goodness. To set up Chronic with a bounce he couldn't read it. So first killer steps up. Oh, oh it surely. crosses in front of the net. And what? Jack took the shot. Saved by Atomic. In overtime, as G2 hold their own. Here comes Genji bringing the game to him. But it's Whoa. three on two for Genji. And it's open <laughs> for Jack. Genji, tie it up! Back wall right now by Daniel. The aggression off the ball has definitely been a key element of this game so far. Double tap from Beast Mode will not be defended this time. And it's 1-0 G2. G2 fired up after that one. I see Jack on the other side, keeping the team nice and calm. That's a type of layered defense that Genji haven't been able to peel apart. But now with that midfield presence, oh, Genji bay. got the pressure. Oh. Down low shot. First killer gets it. Oh, that's just such a convincing fake um, by Karanik. In fact, I think it's so convincing. He touched the ball there. That's ridiculous. We just need these demos to have a plan now. Chronic push off the ball, doesn't stop what? Jack, and it's right at the goal oh line. Goodness. Daniel scoops it out. Give Jack time to think. He was that setup guy in game two, and a star to watch. Such a selfless oh, player, oh but he's got more to think about after that one. Rarely do I say that this season. No, long shot for oh. this is. That's going to go all the way through. First killer puts Gen G2 one up. G2 caught on the counter. It looks like it was Atomic just not pathing straight back towards his goal there. By the time he started doing so, it was already too late. G2 still down by one, worked their way to the orange half. But maintaining possession is just different. Now goes to the Whoa. side. Beastmo, what's he up to? Jack just escorts it home. 3 1. Genji desperately just want to formulate some sort of a play, but a weird whiff coming out there from a town. No connection on that ball there. Instead, it's Ruas on the counter. This shot towards net, in net, and Falcons go up 
two nil. Maybe the two best. But to see it go 3-0, make it four as TRK continues to rain it down. Granted, that that statement is gonna be answered true or false as we head here into game number two. It's a bump play headed in for Kaleers, and Falcons go up by one. So let me get this straight. He scores nine in the opening series. <laughs> Off to a good start here at Forbidden Temple. Opportunity in front this time denied at point blank range by Ruas. It, it just it looks like they came in with a game plan and they are just executing it to perfection. And a one nothing lead for Falcons. Yep, it's been Falcons holding on to their extremely early game lead. But as soon as I say that, here comes a towel. Trying to send it forward, but Ruas has other plans. He's going to carry this one to the backboard. Uses the flip and through. And Team Falcons re-extend the lead at 15 seconds. I think you've had enough. No? Now you've had enough. Falcons back by two. In these best of five stages. Double from the ground. Killers is a killer. A game hasn't been tied past the first 30 seconds of any game in this series. This is dominance. This is the Falcons. This is their game, their series. However, it's not going to be that easy. Might have a few holes in it now. But they've survived to force OT here. And another game on top. Now finally able to keep the pressure on for a little bit longer. Very cleverly set out to midfield, too, by the collective Falcons <laughs> defense. But it comes right back in. And it's Atau who ties the game. Rise bounced that right towards Killers. And maybe a little fortunate that it wasn't just a few pixels closer. There's Vatira denied by Ruas. Vatira towards the backboard. And maybe Carmen Corp can start to formulate some sort of an attack on the Falcons and try and take the lead, but the save comes through. Rati did get a boost <laughs> steal, and it almost paid off. Killers over to one, into the corner they stay. Falcons, can they take this away at the last moment, or does a redirect pass over to Vatira off the backboard, double it down, it hits the ground. We've got overtime in game number four. That was a huge clear, allowing Falcons to be able to transition. Pass over to TRK, shot on net, denied by a towel, and Carmi Corp lived to see another minute of OT. Why they watch the series flash before their eyes, and now maybe Falcons will do the same. One falling into his net. It's a towel. Got the win on the 50, but it's sent away. Follow is denied as well by Ruas. But Tira for the win. Just a little bit. Try to force Falcons into a mistake. There's an opportunity that ricochets away. Courtesy of TRK. He gets sent back into the mid. Here comes Rise off the sidewall. TRK pushing this forward. Can the follow-up come through? The save does, but Killers isn't done. Team Falcons find themselves in a lead at 2-0-2. Good challenge to get that deep into Falcon territory, but it's all TRK. Going to try again. Drop off to Vatira. His shot was high. Nobody could have defended it. And the follow from Atel. Separate us from another 1-1 overtime. That has been the extent of this reverse sweep effort out of K-Corp. TRK just got that ahead of Vatira. And Ruas will give it a look. With no time on the clock, spike down for overtime. Overtime, game five, Carmen Court versus Falcons. This one's going to head back towards the backboard. Towards oh the my net. Gosh. It goes down. The follow up coming through and sent off by Carmen Court. Killers trying to slow things down. Can he get over Rise? Not quite, but he can drive forward to open up an opportunity. No fake off the net. And Ruas get Falcons the win. We're not far behind yeah. North America. As a matter of fact, we might even be right there with Look them. And the, the, taking down the big teams the right there Europe with Europe would now. be the big yeah. one. They both did it. They both yeah. took them down. And that gives us these round three matchups. We'll see Falcons playing Gentlemates. We'll see Furia playing Gen G for Ooh. the two O's. Mm. And then again, that is four different regions in that 2-0 round, which is beautiful. And also four different regions in the 0-2 round. So a lot of diversity happening. Got the 1-1 one one mess here. We got K-Core versus Complexity, G2 versus Rule, Rule 1, one, BDS versus Power, and OG versus Vitality. Appreciate you all being here. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow for day two.